So I just grabbed a jug of chainsaw oil. I'd say it weighs about, it's got to weigh about eight pounds. So we'll put it in the net. So far, so good. Bounce it around. Look at that. Give it a tug. That's where the most of the rips were right here in this spot. Perfect. Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I'm going to show you how to repair your rubber fishing net. I had a big gaping hole in my mesh here, in my fishing net, my rubber net, and I learned a trick on how to fix it, and I'm going to show you right now. So I had a big hole in my fishing net here, and the fish would just fall through. And I learned a trick, and what I did was I melted these joints together. Now I did about six or seven so far. I did, did one there. I did one here, 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 um, there's one along here that I did, right here, and look, if I pull on it, look how strong that is, very strong. I'm going to have to redo this one because it wasn't very uh, lined up properly, but it's still holding really good. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. So what you're going to need is a straight edge, so I'm using this scraper here, or you can use like a screwdriver, anything that is steel that you can heat up and is a straight edge. And you're going to need a heat source like this torch or one of these smaller torches like this. This one works good, but I like using this one. It's quicker with a, if you have a bigger torch, but if you don't have one, one of these will work just great. You can get these at any hardware store. So what you do is you heat up each side of the scraper like this. And it doesn't take a lot of heat. You heat up both sides. You can see that scraper metal is getting red hot. So I'll do it again, I'll heat up my scraper. Okay, it's good and hot. I got the two joints on the net that I wanna stick together. And I'm going to bring the net like this. I'm gonna put these two here. So we're gonna go like this on each side and you're gonna see it melt and smoke really quick. And we'll stick them together. Try not to breathe in that smoke. Now we're gonna hold this for a little bit, maybe 30 seconds, 20 seconds. And you can see the nice rubber bead that's in there. And what happens is you melt the rubber together and it holds really good. I can't believe how strong it is. And I'll bring you back in just about a minute. I'm gonna let that cool. And what I usually do now that I've had about six or seven repairs, I'll go ahead and mend some other joints like this one here. So we'll go ahead and we'll heat up our scraper one more time, just to show you again. All right, now we're gonna grab the two parts we want to melt together again. And if we do this in a timely fashion, before our blades melts or uh, cools off, we should be all right. Oh, stick them together. And we'll just hold it like that for a few seconds. Like I said, 20, 30 seconds. So I'm telling you, this really works well. You can pull on that mesh and it holds, it's so cool. So I'm gonna finish fixing the rest of the net and I'll come back and show you and we'll test it. Well, I finished repairing the net. I had so many repairs to make, but look at that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you can see that. There's not a hole in there anywhere. It's all repaired. So um, I'm going fishing tonight. We'll see if this works, I hope. You have to catch fish first. But I'm gonna put something in here and we're gonna test it. And if we have any weak spots, we'll fix it. So I just grabbed a jug of chainsaw oil. I'd say it weighs about, it's gotta weigh about eight pounds. So we'll put it in the net. So far, so good. Bounce it around, look at that. It's all staying together. So I say that's a success. Like I say, we'll try it out tonight when we go fishing. And if it all works out great, perfect. Give it a tug. That's where the most of the rips were right here in this spot. 
perfect. I hope this rubber fishing net fix helps you out. If it does, or if you think this is a cool fix, leave me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.